Mr. Chairman, and thank you both governors for being here. Happy to see Governor Noem. Good to uh, see you again, here too. together when, when I actually arrive here in Congress. And I'm listening to you both in terms of that experience, and uh, uh, my main concern will be how, if in any way, uh, the uh, management engagement from BLM uh, was done with your state. I mean, was there any engagement before the publication of the rule? Not, not with our office or with our state specifically, no. There was an opportunity to listen and gather some information at one time. Um, I would say it's a very different, well, it, it's happened, Waters of the U.S. was proposed much the same way. The 30 by 30 rule, which is absolutely a land grab by the federal government that's now being rebranded and brought forward. Um, we're starting to see this as a pattern coming out of this administration. You, you were saying in your testimony and in your statement that uh, the proposed rule will also impact in a ne negative way public safety in your state. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah. Well, it's, it's going to risk people's lives because it will not allow us to manage the Black Hills National Forest and Forest Service lands throughout that area in a way that protects our communities and homes that are there. Uh, we've seen devastating fires um, in the area, and because it's such a populated forest, if we do not manage it, um, it will increase that risk of wildfire, and we will lose people. So the, the rule completely ignores that aspect and doesn't do no analysis on what public safety ramifications may happen if they follow through on it. You know that I, I represent Puerto Rico in Congress, and uh, we don't have uh, the rule of the land management mm -hmm. back home. Right. Um, but I think it's important to know what kind of repercussions could be in the whole nation mm -hmm. uh, if we don't pay attention to these. So why the general public and nationwide should be concerned about the way this rule is being imposed? Well, it'll have long lasting effects as far as precedent that it is setting for how every other rule is done. That's what I see consistently coming from the government is once you allow them to overstep federal law, or to trample on our state's rights, they will continue to do so. Um, and it'll, they'll reference back to, well, we've already used this mechanism before under a rule through BLM, and they will continue to push it. So that's why it's important to stop this, because specifically on this rule, there is no scientific data. There's no analysis. They've purposely declared it a rule so they don't have to provide for you what the economic impact could be on the country. Uh, and for us specifically, um, it is our way of life. It's the people that live there and make a living off the land. And, and let me also just, uh, if I may, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, Congresswoman, uh, he, here's, here's a direct impact. I mean, Governor Noem talked about forests, and we've seen that in California, we've seen that in Wyoming, we've seen that in Montana, you know, really everywhere uh, across the West. The other thing we have seen, and I'll point to Colorado a few years ago where a massive grass fire overwhelmed communities. If we aren't able to treat invasive species on, on our federal estate, there will be, there's a grass called cheat grasses, another one called Japanese brome. Both of them grow under um, really rapid conditions. They're annual grasses and they are like gasoline. In fact, they're characterized as being able to change the ecology of an area. So if we're not able to treat that and a spark hits that land and a wind comes up, you will have devastation that can wipe out communities. We've seen it in Colorado. Governor Nome, uh, Rapid City on the western edge had real problems, and, and none of that was taken into effect. In fact, earlier today I said one of the things that this administration could do to get off their butt and actually do something about conservation is make sure that we get Rejuvra okayed. Ag Department says it's okay, EPA says it's okay, it's okay. Bureau of Land Management can't figure this out. That is one of the most important things they could do for conservation. Mm -hmm. And I need to agree with you. You said a few minutes ago that Secretary Purdue visited Wyoming to see what, what's going on mm -hmm. uh, on real life there. He did the same thing in Puerto Rico after the hurricanes. So that's the kind of politics we should be uh, pushing from our uh, uh, um, executive branch. Uh, so I want to say thank you, both of you. Thank you for the conservation you do, mm -hmm. and your people do, in your lands, and uh, I yield back. Gentlelady, you'll 